yeah. Jen's first day on the mountain, we were together 28 years ago, and now we have an opportunity to try it all over again. I'm looking forward to see how Jen handles living in the cabin. Home sweet home. I'm feeling super excited, a little overwhelmed, like butterflies in my stomach. OK, here we go. I'm nervous about the living situation a little bit because I haven't done this before, and I'm definitely nervous about sleeping in bear-filled woods. What's this thing for? Why is this here? That's a bat box. But this is where we would live if Charlie and I decide to build a life together. What is a bat box? Well, the bats can land right here and go up in here because we don't want them going into the building because they like oh, to hide in the building yeah. and stuff. And so so why would you attract the bats here? Well, it's not attract. The bats are already attracted here because bat cave's just down the road Look, a little a bit. There's a spider right there. Hmm? No more spider. A lot rides on this, and it feels like stepping off of a cliff. There's excitement with that, but yet there's some hesitation and fear. OK, here I go. We're going in. <laughs> oh, my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Jen. Woo. Oh, my gosh. So, welcome well. to your humble abode. Here's the bed. <laughs> In the toilet. Here's the kitchen. Yeah. Here's the commode. Right next to the fridge. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not any of it. All your pots and pans, everything you need. Where am I going to cook, though? Where would I use a pot and pan? Oh, I've got a little stove outside that I put on the chopping block. Like it hooks up with propane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so tiny. So I need a lot more space. I don't know. It's just, I'm out of my element. You know, this is definitely far from the beach and the spa, but I expected to lose my conveniences. It's just the reality of how different it is. The toilet is right next to the bed. What if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? Yeah. I'll go outside. I'll go outside. Or you can go outside. I'm not going outside. Why not? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going outside and waiting in the dark. Were you scared to go outside? Yeah, definitely. I'm scared of little things. There's no little things you have to worry about. I've got it all snakes. handled. I think I've got rid of my <laughs> all the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no getting, there's no, like, okay, I'm just moving to another part to just kind of have my own space. You may want a lot of things, but you not necessarily need them. You may want a big house, but I've always heard that big homes are for unhappy people. They don't want to look at each other. I'm just trying to really picture myself, like, actually, like, you know, Days, like days living here. My family, uh, we were raised in a really small home and had more room than you could ever imagine because it was outside, which was where the real fun was, you know? We have everything of your, uh, that you have at home right here. I have a really nice bathtub. I have a bathtub out there. Oh, outside? Yeah. I've got a nice mirror, like a full-length mirror. Like, sometimes if I put clothes on, I like to see what they look like. Well, I can take that off the wall and hold it up and down. So look at yourself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got a solution for everything. I'm going to try to. OK. I want you to be used to being here, you know? Jen's struggle with the way the cabin is set up makes me understand a little more of what we might need. But I personally can get by, and I believe Jen's going to learn she can, too, and that you don't need a whole lot. You just need a whole lot of each other. Good Lord. Are you going somewhere after this? <laughs> What were you saying, the significance of two with the tree again? If 
you plant a tree here, you will always be able to come back. It'll always be a home for you. Josh's reaction to my place wasn't what I expected. Definitely a lot hotter than I thought it was going to be. I just hope he just had like a really bad day traveling and just felt uncomfortable or something. But I was disenchanted because I really liked the guy I was talking on the phone with. I'm just going to pop a hole in here. <laughs> We're just going to pop a hole, no big deal. No big deal. You and your sandals are scaring me. I know. I want Angela to be happy. And I really like her and the things that she's got going on. But this hot, off-grid life is a lot to handle. Here, I'll do the work. You just hold on to things. You give them as I need it. You don't want me to do it? I, I mean, I, I've been doing it a while. I mean, I, I know want... you've been doing it, but that's why I'm here, so you don't have to do it, right? So we can, we're a team now. I'm actually very excited and happy that he is gung-ho and wanting to do everything. OK, can you see this white, powdery type stuff yeah, you yeah, just yeah, pulled yeah. up? That is called caliche, or nature's concrete. So you're saying, like, it's rock? Yeah. How thick is that? It's different in each spot. So, man, you're telling me we could be here for a minute? We have to break through that in order for the plant to be able to drain. You know, like when you're sweating all day long and you can't get relief? Like that? Like you've been kind of dealing with here? Yeah, I was just going to say, like, Just to be able to dry off for a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. sort of like that for them, you know? OK. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty proud of this hole for how <laughs> aggressive the soil is. You're over here just like, I do this all the time by myself. I just realized I had a little blister. I'm sorry. Man, just when I thought I was tough. I know this is just like everyday living for you. But man, you know, I feel bad. I feel like you, you know, you have done all this by yourself. And I'm out here to try to lighten the load. And if I can do that as much as possible, that's what I want to do. Oh, well, that's really cool. I uh, kind of thought it was for a different reason. The first day of Josh being here at the ranch, he ended up sleeping on a bed that I had outside. And I am holding off on having sex because I just, I'm not feeling it right now. So you are enjoying, I mean, the fact that I'm out here, this is actually a little bit more than I kind of feel it, feel like sometimes. Yeah, it is really nice. Is and a little odd for me at the same time, but nice, you know? When I first met Josh, we were, you know, trying to get a little sexy and kissing and making out. But my roommate, she interrupted us. And we always had this what if and when. So I'm almost nervous because I feel like I almost have to live up to something that's been built up for years and years, you know? And in the same breath, he's got to live up to what, you know, I've been expecting too. <laughs> Yeah, no, I understand. I just feel like sometimes a little standoffish with maybe how much of my company is actually maybe doing for you. I'm just not used to it. OK. And it surprises me a lot. I mean, you're surprising me, to be honest with you. you oh, really? Know. Yeah, you're surprising me. In a good way, I hope, In a right? good way, in a good okay. way. I, I really I wasn't sure if you were going to make it out here. Try and do it for you. I mean, you know, liked you for a while now. and Just want to, you know, give it my all and make sure you can give this a shot. It is hard for me to be vulnerable with Josh, but I would love to see some romance and some, um, you know, maybe sexy time. Well, I like you too, and I want you to be happy. And I'm sorry if I was a little standoffish. I just wasn't sure if if things had changed or something, or, or if we both were just overwhelmed. I do want to open up more. Yeah. You know? Well, we got time. Okay. <laughs> We're going to make this happen. Maybe, hopefully, once we plant this tree, it'll bring us, you know, together even a little bit more. All right. Got to be easy on my, my blister. I gotta oh, get please. <laughs>